From the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi, I'm Bronte Coy. And I'm Andrew Bucklow. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Thursday, the 13th of January. Well, the daily COVID case total in New South Wales exploded today after positive rapid antigen tests from the past 12 days were officially included in the numbers. There were 92,264 new cases announced today, but 61,000 of those were positive rat results which have been received since the 1st of January. It's now mandatory to report a positive rat result in the state with those who don't facing a $1,000 fine. Moving on, and there's been a major development in Channel 7's investigation into who leaked the footage of newsreaders Mike Amor and Rebecca Madden slamming tennis star Novak Djokovic earlier this week. Seven believes the leak came from caption company AI Media, which provides captions for the hearing impaired. The boss of AI Media is now leading an investigation into his own company to determine who distributed the footage. That would be terrifying for those staff members. Segwaying into tennis now and crowds at the Australian Open are set to be capped at 50%. All tickets that have already been sold will be honoured, even for events that may already be over 50% of their total capacity. But all further sales will be limited to stay within the new restrictions. The tournament kicks off on Monday. More sport and in boxing news, ex-footy stars Barry Hall and Sonny Bill Williams are set to face off in the ring. The pair will come to blows on March 23 in Sydney. Sonny Bill will fly to the UK to train with world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury before his fight with Hall. To music news, the lineup for this year's Coachella has been announced. Set to headline is Harry Styles, Billie Eilish, Kanye West and Swedish House Mafia. The festival will take place over two weekends in April. The last two annual Coachella festivals were postponed due to the pandemic, so hopefully this one goes ahead. And finally, Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly are getting married. Megan shared a video of the proposal on Instagram and wrote a bizarre comment underneath saying, I said yes, and then we drank each other's blood, which is coincidentally how we celebrated the end of last year, Bucky. (laughs) The less said about (laughs) that, the better. That's the latest from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Follow or subscribe to From the Newsroom wherever you get your podcasts.